Hello everyone, my name is Master Sermon and welcome to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts Multiplayer. Last time we did one of these, we had Miles guesting on one of them, and today we have a very, very, very special guest that doesn't really give any sort of introduction, which is why I'm actually writing this in post-commentary. Joining me today is my cousin Devin, who has never, ever been on a YouTube video on my channel at the very least. I actually don't know if he's ever been on a YouTube video or not. And yeah, he was down visiting um, his, like, family. I'm part of his more extended family, but when you live in a small town, it kind of, yeah. But anyways, he was down visiting there a few weeks ago, and I kind of messaged him before the he came down for his trip saying, hey man, would you be interested in possibly recording something? And during this time, we literally waited until just hours before he left at the end of this. We recorded this quite literally at the 11th hour of his trip. It was 11 p.m. when we recorded this, and I think he had to leave for the airport at like 4 a.m. the next day. So, yeah, it was kind of a very last minute decision, but I knew if we didn't do this, we would have basically never gotten a chance to do this otherwise. So without further ado, here we go. Alright, so yeah, you can press A to join in there. Okay. Yeah. And... Okay, there we go. I don't know what was going on there. Um, this is just kind of what's known as the Tesla track area. You can... Basically just a big sandbox area where you can just sort of mess around. Okay. Um, if you want to build your vehicles, you can hold up on the D-pad to go in to the garage. Nope. Um, it's kind of a... I mean, it can be kind of a complicated thing, but this is a... You're on a save file that has a lot of stuff on it already, so... Well, you're fine, you're okay, sure. That's oh. just like the default car there. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Uh, it's right trigger to oh, yeah. drive. Bumper area. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I'm slow as piss. <laughs> yeah, that's like the default what? car that you get normally. I think our, I think our grandfather's car in fast. <laughs> well, Hibby had a pretty nice car too, didn't he? Uh, I can't like a boat. <laughs> it was a big, big, wide car. Oh my god, I'm slow. Do you want a different vehicle than that? Oh, no. what, what am I doing? Huh? Alright, back down the hill. There. Yeah. Yeah, I do, definitely. You can go back in the garage to select a better vehicle than this. Pot, 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 pot. What is it? The trolley? Oh, it's a trolley. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good Okay, get down here. So do we race right now? Uh, yes. Um, basically the that's just kind of like the mess around thing. Kind of the point of this though is that. Uh, wait, no, I don't want to custom. Um, there we go. Yeah, you can pick between races and sporting events for kind of thing. And there's a lot of different. Uh, oh, let's try your favorites. Favorites? Yeah. Um, I'll just like go with this one anyway. Um, typically, you typically a lot of these you want to go with whatever the default vehicles are anyway. So I guess okay. we're getting defaults so, in this one. Am I picking that one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's an army tank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it depends on the vehicles here. Okay, let's go in oh god. Um, okay, is this a battle royale or are we racing? Uh, it's racing. Although it looks like we're doing a bunch of like U turns here. And oh god, yeah, I see what you mean by that. The handling is actually garbage here. Oh, oh, hovercraft too? Uh, kind of. Might be. It has jets on like the front of it, so that's probably what's keeping it afloat. This is just, this is reminding me of like a, like, almost like a skateboarding game, almost like Tony Hawk or something, but... I'm gonna lose, come on, stop calling me. <laughs> You're also underwater right now. Stop. <laughs> come on, 
down. Okay, where am I? You're in water. Okay, I'm definitely. I've lost the race already. Okay, I don't even know where the course is. Uh, the course is basically just these three points here and just kind of going. So I fall on the flags? Yeah, you go. You go green. You basically go through all the green. Fuck your couch. You go through all the green rings. Kind of, the order progression is like green then uh, orange then red. Fortunately, it's not like a. I can't believe I'm comparing to this. It's not like Superman 64 where you can just skip the skip a few rings and still go through as long yeah, as they're yeah. not gray. Uh, I think your vehicle somehow just ran out of health, which doesn't really mean much in the long run. It just kind of stuns you for a few seconds. Oh, yeah. I told you. Okay. Green. Green. So I hit this big ramp here. Then where am I supposed to go? Uh, basically just around in a big circle like this here, right? So I hit the water. And then I go... Splash my car. Some more. Okay, turn, baby, turn. I'm just racing for spite now. There's no <laughs> way I'm gonna win. No. I, I don't even know how long this is gonna go on for either way, because I've been going quite a while and. Green. <coughs> Green. 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 Over here? Is that supposed to go? Yes! Okay, back down. <laughs> upside down. I think all these jets probably doesn't help this very much, but it's... Oh, there we go. That was... I only got 30 seconds left. Yeah, I crossed the finish line. I don't even know what the finish line is. This is, like, so untraditional racing. <laughs> yeah, this was not a very good track. Um, stage for this with planes. I'm assuming air strikes would also be with planes as well. I guess we'll try this. <coughs> Diddy Kong Racing was like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it had um, it switched. I don't know if it was like you're halfway through no, racing and then you switched into planes, or what did it, was, uh, it, was it was like was, one stage was a plane, one stage Yeah, was one stage was a plane. There was also a hover car in that one as well. Yeah. That game, that game is such a weird game for me, because I grew up... It's, it sounds weird, I grew up playing the DS remake of that more than the original, so... Yeah. Um... Oh god, these things have weird handling, but they also have a... Three jets on them, so... Come on. I completely missed that. Whoa. Two for the cows. <laughs> no! Don't worry, I missed the same one actually. Again. Dual barrel roll. <laughs> That's what this reminded me of. Star Fox? Yeah. Seems like Star Fox um, 64, anyway, is like the only Star Fox game people typically agree is like really good still. Can't say I've ever played any other one. I mean, I haven't really played much of the original. Star Fox 2 just came out last year for the SNES Classic, because it was pretty much believed to be unfinished every other. I think there was like some bootleg of Star Fox 2, but like that. Like. Yeah. And then there was you also No You also with the X button no. uh have uh homing torpedoes. No we don't. <laughs> that may run as close to you. Okay, back. Where is it? Where is it? 
the green thing? Yeah, right there. Admittedly, the frame rate's not making this any easier. <laughs> the game kind of slows down whenever there's... Especially when you're trying to go fast, and... Having a large jet in the back of this thing does not help with that at all. Maybe? <laughs> Probably not, no. I got Star Fox 6. It's a, it's a Star Fox game to create that by the way. Pilot Wings didn't have something like that, did it? Pilot Wings did. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm thinking I think it was 64. Right now there's stuff in the Super Nintendo that did too. Yeah. Um. Remember, it's really hard to play with younger, but one younger player, sorry. Yeah. So when you start a racing game and you find like your little brother or <coughs> cousin or friend or whatever. Yeah. And they couldn't understand the concept of the fact they have to go in things and you have 30 seconds and it's like, you can never race them. But you just laugh at me. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Just take it very slow. It's like Sunday drive. I'm surprised how long this is actually going on. That's another thing with the races in this game is sometimes in multiplayer, sometimes they go on like you would think it would just be like three laps, but sometimes they go on for like ten laps. Okay, what am I doing? Anyhow I put some speed to it, I just ruin it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I don't care. I'm going to this. I got 30 seconds left. Oh, yeah? I'm going to pause that. I can mess around and sh just fly to the very top of the level and just kind of mess around up here for. I just got a, I just got a ring. Come on. Yeah, I'm good. I think the first going through rings thing, I feel like pile wings would probably have been that. some boating races now. We've done one on land that was really stupid, a halfway decent air run, and let's give some boats some time to shine. Kind of glad we get to see this background again, because I pointed out last time I did uh, a race on uh, the nighttime Nutty Acres track that I really like the aesthetic of the area. Mm -hmm. I also really like the boat races in this game as well and oh, think they're really underutilized, so. It's actually the smoothest one yet. I know! <laughs> That's what I like about the boats in this game, they're very smooth as far as. I think the plane was smoother than the, the jet the jet tank or whatever. We <laughs> okay, that was a whole other... The, most of the race cars in this game aren't that bad. Oh god. Oh, 
bombers. The only thing I don't like about the bolts in the main game is that I just think they're really underused. Where are the hauling torpedoes? Hmm? There no homing torpedoes, I don't know what is this Those are the homing torpedoes. I guess I'm just out of range or something. This person does not work too well in waves because this thing just bounces. I can see ya. Not that far out of me. That's yeah. surprising. missed one. Speed. Uh, you could have potentially just won this. Uh. Wait. <laughs> Good though. Yeah, that wasn't good bad. That was nice and fun. Yeah. That was a that got really, really close near the end actually. So I think that's good for some of the races. Let's see if we got a halfway decent sport here. Some of these are a lot worse than others. The air football one's actually not half bad. Is this, is this four players? Or can I kill four players or no? Yeah, I can actually. Is it? Couch yeah. co-op? Um, what? Yeah, can you do couch co-op with it then? Right? Yeah. You can also do online as well, but I don't really have anyone who plays this game online, so... Yeah, for a ten-year-old game, I mean, it would... Yeah, exactly. Um... I think I've done this one, yes. How far can you travel when your vehicle's power is cut off? That sounds totally wonderful. <laughs> Basically, we'll go past a certain point and then lose all power and we have to go as far as... Okay. So it's all running out of gas, apparently. Pretty much. I did that a few months ago. <laughs> I was like, I don't need to go to the gas station. I'll, you know, I, I thought they didn't have the money for it. I just thought I could make it. You know, to the shop and back, and let's push the other. Um. Hey, where'd you go? Hey, what'd you do? Oh, um, you can get out of the car and by uh, pressing Y, and then you can pick up your car with the uh, right trigger, and then I just jump back in my car to get oh, no. moving. Uh. Oh, there goes my car. Um, I think I finished. <laughs> Well, that's one way to finish a race. Yeah, I mean, screw your car down the hill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still open. Woo. Where did my car go? Ah. Ah, I think I might be 
over here unless I somehow keep back going a little bit. Get in the car. Can't press Y to get back in. Or? Start the car. Oh crap. Might have just ended it there. Yep. Yeah. I can push it though. Yeah. Jump start it. Come on. Jump start. And oh, that's on you. That was unusually short. Usually those go a lot longer than that. Um. Done pretty near, I think, everything else here. Don't flee the nest. I. I, I can't. I can never remember if I've actually done this one or not, but I think if I remember right, this one might just be... Yeah, I think this one might just be King of the Hill, but I'm not totally sure. Or this one might actually be a proper... Okay, yeah, this is literally just stay in the nest for longer than the opponent, although you can actually kind of completely disregard these rules and just kind of go around and explore your own merit as well. So where's the nest? Um, when we started it, it was just up like... This thing? No, uh... I guess that arrow's going to point me towards Yeah, so. that there. Oh, yeah, there. How do I get up there? So There's some way to get up there. I don't totally remember. This is a world, I don't know how much experience you have playing the original games, but this is a world that's basically just a bunch of random reuse assets from the first two games. Yep. Oh, there's, oh, just, there a, there's just a ramp down there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna go for a drive anyway, so... Uh. I actually kind of forgot, you were mentioning before this that uh, you didn't have any experience with like the Xbox, but I forgot you have uh, Xbox controllers for your computer. Yeah. Yeah. And they, I mean, they're pretty. pretty yeah. Good. I mean, the button placement's different, but I mean. Yeah. Essentially, every game is you know, the two toggles takes four buttons, four shoulders. Pretty much. Oh, I've always liked the 360 controllers anyway. The Here, the Xbox One controllers. They feel pretty good from what I've played. I don't actually have an Xbox One, so. I've never had a problem adjusting to them if I've ever had to play one. Story mode, the other one can't. Like, ah. Yeah. I so I was like, okay, I'll play multiplayer. But multiplayer was garbage, and it was like coin collect and stuff like that, right? <laughs> it was like Mario Party mini games for the multiplayer. But they weren't yeah. even good ones. Yeah, I haven't even. I have ukulele on Steam as well, actually, but my computer can't run it worth anything, so I didn't even bother trying to run multiplayer. I was waiting for whenever it came to Switch, and then when I finally did, I just never bothered getting it, so... Yeah, my, uh, my daughter just got shelter for the Switch. I didn't pick that, but it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, you start out, you're a bobcat, and you gotta raise, raise cubs, and then, um... Survive, I guess, is what you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> she, so she's ten, and she was just bawling her eyes out, because she was playing it on, uh, PC. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Like, there's like wolves and stuff in it, no common. Yeah. 
like two of her cubs died. And she's like, why did they die? I don't like this game anymore. And I'm like, well, you know, it's not realistic, so. Yeah. yeah no, I think the most recent thing I bought on Switch was the Mega Man X collection. How's that? It's good. I mean, it's, uh, there's two of them. There's X1 to 4 on the first one, and X5 through 8 are on the second one. Yeah, I, 1 and 2 were classic consoles, though, right? Uh, and 3. And 3 was... Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo, yeah. Yeah. And it had that, um... um that other character. What were we doing? Zero? Zero, yeah. Yeah. It was like in, in red or something, right? Yeah. Red Iron Man or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, and then they went PlayStation with uh, 4, 5, and 6, and then PlayStation 2 with 7 and 8. I don't know what we're actually doing. We're supposed to be, like, in that King of the Hill thing, but this game just lets you just do whatever instead, so... This is really not the best design thing in the world. It's kind of the thing with this game, is like, a lot of the multiplayer stuff is really hit or miss. Sometimes you get something good, like the boat race, and then other times you just get really shit stuff. Usually when I played this back in the day, it wasn't even, it wasn't even doing half the mini games. It was usually just messing around in the, like hub area, like get some guys on Xbox Live and just kind of mess around a lot. Yeah. Anyway, it's got a classic Xbox feel, but the graphics are better. Yeah, that's just my opinion. I mean, it just yeah. it feels like it's like. And I can see that. I mean, and you can do a lot of stuff too. Like you can have like. You can set up leagues and stuff with your party and do, like, online. There's even, like, ranked online and stuff. It's just good luck finding someone playing that in 2018. No doubt. So, how do you feel about sheep golf? Yeah, that's good. So I usually save this for the finale for all the rounds here, and I think it's n no different here. So, you get a golf cart. Give me! Um, yeah, we're going to be golfing with sheep here. Nice. Um, you can press X to use your boot in the box, which is just basically a boot that you kick out. It's kind of an easy way of launching the sheep. Yeah, I think you might have missed there. And it doesn't really give you a good idea of where the hole is. That's the one down. Yeah, Random that's sheep ball, right? Yeah. Oh. Are you drunk or what? Get the sheep. <laughs> Seven iron out. Uh, you're taking it. I'll just show you on my screen here because it—that's the one thing I don't like about this in multiplayer. It doesn't really tell you where you're supposed to take it. Well, I guess how that green flag is, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of telling me something. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so you're already in yeah. Sherbert land over there. <laughs> sure. Mario Kart 64. Yeah. Uh, yep, it'll go off the field. Oh, did my ball not come with me? Come on, no, ball. it should have. Come on, ball. Right. Yeah, it's, it's on the ice here. Alright, there it is. Whoa. I think if we touch each other's balls, it'll still count for our stroke total. <laughs> yep. Sometimes I still wonder how I've actually done the... In the main single player, in order to get the... The best thing for this, you need to get a stroke of, like, under... Five... So you basically need to get this all the way over here in less than five strokes. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's something. I completely messed that up. See, maybe you're living in a cave and this is the only game you have and you know, Yeah. Five years. Ten years. Master it's thing. also it's it's an annoying mission, but it's also not even <laughs> near the hardest thing in this level either. <laughs> In the 
Oh, how you move that? Oh, uh, the X button. Okay. Oh. So right out the thing and then... It's easier for you to tilt the camera around to see the front of your car. I got it. And I'm going to right there. Where I didn't want to go. We're also on ice, so that might be a factor. Let's not boot it there. Yeah, I don't discard the sheep. Okay, for some very, very strange reason, normally you can just completely total this igloo, but in this mission you can't for some reason. Hey, get out of this ice level. True. Car stuck. Almost got it. Should be able to. Go. Uh, eight seconds. So painful. Yeah. Ah. No, I'm just gonna boot you. Oh. And it went in at the very last second. Is that good? I don't know if you counted uh, that or not. I don't no, think so. No. Oh, well, that was. I think that was good. Yeah, that's a, that's a little a fun game once you get into it. It just kind of takes a while to actually get into it. Mm -hmm. so there's a lot of stuff you can build and check out and stuff. Like, there's... Like... There's a lot of different vehicle options and such. It's kind of quickly showing through, through some of these things. Um, all these gadgets here have, like, a lot of different unique attributes. Um... And there's just a lot of vehicles you can use, like, as well here, too. Oh. A lot of these, are, I think, are on my old, old account that I don't think I ever showed off, so... Um... Did you build all these? Yeah. I don't, re I don't remember building half of these. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah. I really don't remember building any of this, but this was also like early, early, like t 2010. Why the fuck do I have something called Amazon.com? Mm, works, huh? <laughs> I guess, but... <laughs> Dragon can't be as bad. There's one. <laughs> there's one of my other files called uh, H1N1 for some reason. <laughs> That's your fate right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Some of these I vaguely, vaguely remember building, like, that I do somewhat remember building, but it's... <laughs> I think this was stuff I built, like, super early once I got the game, so... Yeah. A lot of the, like, the... You can buy a lot of, like, v chassis vehicles and stuff that are, make the game a lot easier, too, so... Yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you for joining me today, Dev. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no problem. This was literally recorded at the 11th hour. 
Quite literally, it's 11.47 p.m. right now. Got to do something. Yeah. Alright. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.